Come on, get up. We got church. Bad Leo's here, remember? Yep, he's going to. What? Uh, I don't, I don't. Uh, hey, we, we put you up on a Saturday night. You get the privilege of joining us for church on Sunday morning. Now hustle up and get dressed. Start it up. Fellas, what did you do last night? Uh, not much. Watched that movie. Uh, stayed up for a little bit talking, but sacked out. Didn't go anywhere then? No. So this car is practically touching the garage, and the front end is over the walkway. It seems a bit odd that it's so close over here on top of the sidewalk. Now, how do you think that happened? I don't know, Dad. Were you drinking last night? <coughs> oh, funny shit, huh? Love. All right. This is your chance. I'm giving you one. Well, come clean. What did you do last night? What? Dad, Dad, what are you talking about? We took your car and parked it weird? Did you? No. No, we didn't take your car. Well, I've been driving a car for about 40 years now. About 20 years on this side of the car. And that time, I've never been on top of a sidewalk anywhere. And in my own driveway, I give myself a little bit of room to get out of the fucking car. All right, hold up. I was just playing before, but maybe you got distracted or something. I don't know. We went to bed. We didn't take your car. You've seen me try to drive, Dad. There's no way I could have taken it. You were in. All night, last night. Okay, in all night. So how did that stone fall off of the basement hatch? Some rock? What is this? No, you're right, that, that rock is always there and the wind just miraculously blew a solid object off of those doors on the calmest night of the goddamn year. I don't know, squirrels? Squirrels. <laughs> Nature's Hercules. Well, we're gonna be late for church. Yeah, Dad, don't want to be late. Uh, what? You've never been on time for anything in your life. Look, you hate church. No, all of a sudden you want to be there? Are you working on a hymn? Huh? I just want to deflect what I'm talking about. We'll, we'll get there when we're done. Now, can someone tell me just what the hell happened last night? I already told you. Well, we had a half a tank as of last night. Let's see where we're at now. Ooh. Oh, we better shut her down and conserve gas. We seem to be losing a little. That looked like half a tank, Dad. Can we go? Oh, shut up and keep talking. And keep it shut. I'm tired of hearing it. Your voice and the lies. Look, you're all man. Like I wasn't a perfect role model. And your mom, well, Jesus, I'll let her get into it. We had our fun. Piss off some parents in their time. We all have short. But you know what I had? Integrity. And I was an honest person. And if I made a mistake, and if I was called out for it, I'd face up to it like a man. Because you show no signs, none whatsoever of being a real grown-up person, a fucking hombre. You know, you sweat, you grow some hair in your nuts. Love, where well, are you going short, with all short this? Time after that, Sunday. short time after that, you start 
behaving like a real human being for fuck's sake, a real grown up person. We come over here and we give to you what we can. The world being what it is and this place being what it is and for what. So you can disrespect me and not even treat me like an equal member of the human race. And everything's so racist all the time. Ooh, that, that's racist, man, dude. Yo, that's racist, yo, dude. Oh, everything all the time with you guys. Do you idiots even know what racism is? It's treating a group of people as less than human. And that's what you guys do to everybody you ever meet. As my dad would say, everybody ever shook hands with. Except you don't even have the decency to do that. You just shrug and slump and utter some unintelligible sort of... Oh. And you, you ever said hello to me? In the entire time you've known me, ever an, an hello man? Between the two of you, you've never treated another person with equal respect in your whole life. And that includes me and your mom. And we put our lives into this. This, whatever this is, we put our lives into it. So recognize that and just take it in and just think about it one time for a second on, on Thanksgiving Day or something. Just for a moment, appreciate what's been done for you. And look, Denny's not your rich friend. I, I know that. Hell, he may be the most destitute bastard you associate with. And what did I say? It ain't all unicorns and rainbows. rainbows around here. Unicorn around this place, just like a big shit in our yard. I guess we have to clean it up, huh? Ah, oh, Jesus, Henry Christ, let me run it down for you. I'm not an idiot. We snuck out after your mom and I went to bed. You quietly went through the basement, got in the car and drove it out of here. Maybe even put it into neutral and roll it down the street before you started it up. You drove around, Probably had a few beers, which you better not ever do, get behind the wheel of a car if you've been drinking. And then, you picked up some young pussy, oh. some young girls, and tried to figure out how to get some before you got steered. You came back, went right back down the same way you climbed out, so there was no way for you to put the rock back. I didn't pay it much mind. It was late, I'm sure, just like you couldn't take enough care to park when you pulled in. So it didn't occur to you that you shut it down on top of a sidewalk. <laughs> Parking, right? And then my car. And what's your taking all this, kid? I've just never heard you say so much before. Well, I guess you never got me talking, I guess. We didn't take it. Why Why would you say anything at all? I'd rather you just say nothing than to continue to lie to me, man to fucking man. Hey, look at me. Right here. Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't take the car. I swear to God, I didn't take the car. Good enough for me.